Hey there, sports fans. It's Opinionated Glenn. It's the 24th of August, 2011. And as we all know, this ain't exactly heaven. Um, this week, my wife and myself ventured out to buy her a new car. What car did we get? A Fusion. A Ford. American made all the way because I'm a union worker. Retired. Well, anyways, we go in there. I told the guy just like it was. I says, I don't want to hear any bullshit. I don't hear any lies. I don't want to hear any garbage. I'm just here to buy a car. Give me the bottom line or I'm walking. Oh, my wife was so excited about a new car. And the way I talk, is so rude, crude, and socially unacceptable that I didn't want to mess this up. She had her heart set on this fusion. Oh, man. It's got everything. Anything you can think of, it's in there. Well, we went on all through the rigmarole. The salesman gave me all the regular garbage bullshit, and I warned him not to took my wife's Saturn, which was in pres pristine, how does I say it? Pristine, pristine condition. That's better than fine. That's better than mint. This car, the only thing dirty was the floor mat on her driver's side. This car was 10 years old. A 10-year-old Saturn had 53,000 miles, which is peanuts. But, anyways, give us all the regular... Like I said, all the salesman bullshit. He took and got it, got it appraised. Well, $25,000 fusion. $25,000 and some change. Not change, out of mouths. Um, they give us $2,000 in rebates. I called a lifetime acquaintance of mine. He retired from Ford. So he gets the X plan. Saved us some, some money, about $1,300, $1,400, which was add up in tax, ate up in taxes, but at least he was nice enough to do that. He's a nice guy. We're not really tight or nothing, but he's a nice guy. So, uh, yesterday my wife went and picked it up. Come home, we went for a long ride. She took me for a ride. I didn't want to drive. It's her car, you know? Anything I drive turns to shit instantly. I mean, it's dirty, grimy when I drive it. Because I drive a car to drive it. My wife drives it like it's for the queen or something. Anyways, we get home. She gets out the manuals and everything. This Ford. Proud to be an American car. Was made. The engine was made. It was assembled in Mexico. If I would have known that, I would have taken that Ford Fusion and shoved it up that salesman's ass. Made in Mexico. Oh, I forgot to tell you. The one part that was you made in the United States was the transmission. Can you believe that? The transmission. Everything else in this car was made by them goddamn Mexicans. Probably child labor, underpaid, drug dealing pieces of shit Mexicans. I just couldn't believe it. But we got it. My wife likes it. But it's made in Mexico. So, when we go and I buy me a car, whatever it is, if I see anything that's made out of this country, I'm going to shove it up their fucking ass. I don't want any foreign made shit by child labor. That's why I tell all the idiots that I'm associated with, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Koreans, they're building their cars here in the United States, giving Americans jobs to pay their taxes, feed their families. 
But I hear the strict, silent asshole saying, But the prophets go to Mexico. I mean, the prophets go out of this country. Who cares? The prophets are shit. Okay, that's all. This is a long one. This is from opinionated, screwed Glenn. And I got screwed again by the Mexicans. Hey, Mexico, sit on this and rotate. It's 10 4, good buddy. 21.50, I'll take this one myself. Good day.